Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. This is what I'm making today. But I'm going to make it a little bit different than the recipe calls for. I am making crock pot dressing. I've made it many times. Charlotte loves it. We all love it. But so much of it always goes to waste because I make a full crock pot. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it but I'm going to put some in my little crock pot and I'm going to make some that can be baked in the oven. So, here we go. Let me get everything prepped here and I shall be back. Now let me show you what I'm doing different. As you can see here, now I got this recipe from cooks.com years ago and it's the one I always use. The basic recipe is uh, you know, your one eight inch uh, pan of cornbread, your slices of white bread, four eggs, two cups of chicken broth, two cans cream of chicken soup, one teaspoon sage, one half teaspoon of black pepper, celery to taste, one medium onion, two tablespoons of butter, and you put it in the crock pot. Uh, you cook for two hours on high, then four hours on low. Well, I like more celery and I like more onions and I like more sage. So I use that as my basic recipe. But I'm doing like a, a, a super recipe and because, now I have done this before. When I made this before and I did not cook it in the crock pot, I just cooked it in a pan. The onions and the celery, this is my frozen celery, um, the onions and the celery did not get cooked. So what I'm doing is I'm cooking the celery and the onions and then I am going to make it in my small crock pot. I'm going to fill up my, you know, do all the other stuff that I'm supposed to do and I'm going to put it in my small crock pot but then I'm going to use some disposable pans and make some for the freezer so that I can have it anytime I want. And because I'm putting it in the pan for my freezer, I have to cook my onions and my celery down a little bit. So when this gets all nice and sweated down, I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all, so now I got this all nice and good and, and, and soft and sauteed. So now we're going to go to our next step. And the next step is, in here I have my eggs, I have my um, chicken bouillon, and I have some garlic, and I have some pepper. I don't have salt because the chicken bouillon it has salt in it. So now what I'm going to add is my cream of chicken soup. And I'm going to add uh, my water for my chicken broth. So let me get that done and I'll be right back. Oops, y'all, almost forgot. I need to add my ground sage. And I'm going to go ahead and add these onions and this celery. I added more celery to that, by the way. So let me get that. Okay, got that mixed in. Now I've got my bread here. And I'm going to break that up and put that in there. Y'all, I used uh, the bowl that I mixed up the cornbread when I cooked the cornbread. I just used that bowl. Now, I'm going to have to do real good mixing because, as you can see, that uh, sage, it's, uh, it's ground sage. But it doesn't mix real good in with that. And I like extra sage anyway, so I added some extra sage. But I'm going to have to mix that up really good. So let me get my bread in there. And I'll mix it up. Okay, y'all. Uh, got to mix this in. And then I need to decide how much cornbread I'm going to add. You know, I've been making this. I found out about uh, crock pot dressing, oh, maybe 15 years ago. And I started making it, and, oh, we just fell in love with it. We just fell in love with it. Uh, every time we had Thanksgiving over at my mom and dad's house, uh, 
I always brought the crock pot dressing and sometimes I'd make it even when it wasn't Thanksgiving. But, you know, it 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 cuz you make so much at one time, a lot of it just went to waste. So, I'm trying something different this time and uh we'll see how that goes. So, there, that bread's all mixed in real good. Now, here is my cornbread. And I think I'm going to put two of these great big, great big wedges in there. And I'll see how thick it is. Let's see what we got. It's looking good, y'all. Looking good. But, I think I'm going to add a I don't know, something tells me I'm going to add the rest of this cornbread and I'm going to add some more water and some more uh, uh, chicken bouillon. So, just a sec. Okay. Now, while that's kind of soaking up, this is perfect, y'all. This is how I like my my um, uh, um, dressing just like this. Oh, this is just perfect. This is perfect. Ooh, for me, that's the way I like it. But now I'm going to cook some of this honeysuckle turkey, ground turkey, in this pan right here. Okay, y'all, here we go. We're going to go low and slow. Now, I'm going to uh, fry up this uh, turkey, and I'm going to go ahead and put some sage, some uh, salt and pepper, and some garlic. And then we'll go to the next step. Okay. As you can see, I've got this uh, meat pretty well uh, uh, on its way to being done. It's not 100% done. And I'm going to put some of that, or, well, I may put all of that in here. So, let me get that done, because I need two hands to do that. Okay, I've got a little bit more than half the meat in there. Next step. Okay, I've got a one cup measure here. I figure one cup is a good uh, uh, serving. So let me give this one last mix up. And I am using my little crock pot today, y'all. I have never cooked it in the little crock pot. I've always used my big gray one. My big gray metal one. Not my new one, but my big gray metal one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put I'm going to put one two three cups uh yeah, I'm going to put three cups in there. And we're going to, well, let me go ahead and put four. So, four cups in there. Now, on here, this is for uh, lunch or dinner or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put two cups. Okay, now for my little uh, freezer meals. Okay, so I ended up with one, two, three of these little pans, and there's two cups, two heaping cups, in each one. And then I've got some back there. Now that's going to go in the oven right now. These three are going to be covered, and they're going to go in the freezer. This, I'm going to follow the recipe, and it's going to go on high for two hours and then on low for four hours. 
So let's get that going. High for two hours and low for four hours. Now, the rest of this meat here, I'm going to make some turkey soup. So this is going back in the refrigerator and tomorrow I'm going to make some turkey soup. So, I will bring you back when this is ready and I will bring you back when that is done. Y'all, I don't know if it's my imagination or what, but now this is um, out of the oven. See, and the, the turkey's down there in the bottom. But this ain't, I don't know. That's been on for high for two hours, and now it's time to turn it on low. So we'll see how that goes. But here is the turkey and dressing uh, 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 casserole kind of thing. And then I got some potatoes back there, and then Ernie's got some uh, carrots, ground up carrots right there. So, here's Ernie's supper, and we'll come back when this is done. Okay, y'all. His time. I've already come back and stirred it up a wee bit. Ooh. Yes. Let's see. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh. How good. Mmm. Delicioso. So, let's turn that off. Now, don't be afraid. Oops, I got so much stuff going on here. Just a second here. My recommendation, y'all, is go to cooks.com or to write it down from here and do this recipe exactly the way the recipe reads the first time. Then put your mark on it. Because when I do this for family, I do it exactly as the recipe says. Now, when I do it for myself, I tweak it and I twist it and, and do my own thing. Now, the only thing I think is wrong with the basic recipe is I like more sage. But then you may not. But thanks for watching, y'all. And do try it. It is the crock pot dressing from cooks.com. Absolutely the best dressing I've ever eaten. And the only one I make. Thanks for watching. Had to come back and add something here. The only dressing I've ever tasted that even comes close to this is my mama's bread stuffing. When I was a kid and my mama made bread stuffing, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. and you can tell by the way I look, I ate a lot of it. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching.